Hey folks, I'm Red Monster SC, and in this video, I'm going to review what's changed in mining with the release of Alpha 3.17 and 3.17.1, including UI changes, updates to gemstone mining with the rock, common ongoing issues, and the most recent round of changes to scanning. Before I get started, I want to be clear that this isn't an exhaustive list of bugs that you'll run into, and it's not a guarantee that you will run into these issues, but just to inform you of some of the most common problems you might come across when mining in 3.17. If there are other major changes within the current patch, I'll post them in the pinned comment below. As always, your first place to look when troubleshooting a new or unique bug is on the issue council on the RSI website. Here, you can search for common errors other players have reported, as well as browse for any workarounds the community might have already identified. So let's get into it. First, the most significant change is that mining gadgets have now been added to the game. There's a lot of information on what they are and how to use them, and I've got a tutorial video that covers them in detail, so check the link in the description to the mining gadgets tutorial if you're interested. One major caveat to mining gadgets is that, while they are intended to be reusable, you're only able to recover them about half of the time that you use one. The intent was to be able to recover them consistently, but there are a lot of contributing factors to whether you'll get that mining gadget back including server performance. Next for UI updates. The Prospector Mining UI has been fixed. This had been one of the top complaints I have heard from other miners since around 3.14 when the UI initially broke. The HUD was washed out and blurry, making it difficult to read the numbers on the display. Now it's back to a clean state where everything is legible. This particular issue had a lot of people abandoning the Prospector because it was too much to work around, so I'm glad that it's been fixed. The mole also had a slight UI update in the mining turrets, with the display actually shrinking. This seems like an unintended change, and hopefully it's something we aren't stuck with. However, I don't think that the changes are as bad as the Prospector UI issue, and not significant enough to make the mole unusable. If you're having a hard time reading the text, you can hold the F key to enter interaction mode, then use your mouse scroll wheel, which will zoom in on the display temporarily. There was also a recolor pass on the Grey Cat Rock mining UI, but it's functionally identical to the previous HUD. The recolor changed to a more muted greenish-gray interface instead of having the bright green optimal zone and red overcharge zone. This change was neutral, but it's at least worth mentioning that it will look different in 3.17. The Rock had a few other updates that should make a lot of players happy. First, the gemstone collection bug has been fixed, so say goodbye to that hurricane of Hedonite. Since about 3.14, Gemstones would form a vortex around the extraction laser head when collecting, and they'd frequently stop collecting while there were still gemstones flying around, so you had to release the extraction beam, which would send gems flying everywhere. The apparent fix is that they've updated the animation for the gemstones path from the ground into the laser head, so if you aim the extraction laser at a large group of gemstones, you'll see them collect one at a time. The gemstones won't move until it's their turn to extract, at which point the one gemstone being extracted will be picked up off the ground. The collection rate is still slower than pre-314 rates, but now you can reliably collect gemstone deposits without the risk of scattering your profits everywhere. Like the Prospector HUD issue, this is another one of those changes that had players shelving their rock because the collection bug made it mostly unusable. The second fix for rock miners out there? Gemstone deposits are now spawning correctly, and by that I mean not inside other terrain. This issue affected rock miners who found that about half of the gemstone deposits you'd come across were buried inside other rocks or trees, rendering them inaccessible. Since the 3.17 live release, I haven't come across any gemstone deposits that have been overlapped with other terrain, so we can probably call this one fixed. There are also several ongoing issues you may still experience in 3.17, although they've been around for a while. Unfortunately, unscannable rocks are still an issue. There were a few potential fixes that should have made it into the live build of 3.17. However, there are a handful of reasons why we could get unscannable rocks, and it's going to take more investigation and troubleshooting for the issue to be fully resolved. For now, if you run across more than four unscannable rocks or clusters in a row, try making a short quantum jump to get into a new area, or switch to a different server. Gemstones still aren't stacking in your inventory, which will affect hand mining and rock mining. If you want to transfer from one inventory to another, then you'll be clicking and dragging a lot. Instead of fighting with the inventory, I'd recommend just taking more frequent trips back to the mining outposts to sell your collected gemstones. 
which is probably a smart practice anyways, to make sure you don't lose too much value to a crash or piracy. I'd love for a transfer all button, or to be able to at least transfer multiples, but those are lower priority quality of life fixes we won't see for a few more patches. The glass in the mole center turret has a tendency to get overly distressed, making it nearly impossible to see out of. Repairing seems to help sometimes, but the wear rate on the glass is really aggressive. You'd think that 930 years in the future, there'd be some type of non-scratch polycarbonate. Anytime you claim your prospector or mole, the mining modules that were on your lasers are lost. This means a potential loss of a few hundred thousand credits depending on how you're outfitted. This may be the way that the insurance claims are intended, and it's been going on for as long as I can remember, but it's a common question I see asked around, and another one of these things that just has me scratching my head. In general, avoid claiming your mining vehicle when it's outfitted, and avoid blowing up your ship. There's a display bug in the prospector or mole where the quantanium you've collected can sometimes change to inert on your cargo display. This is purely a visual bug, since the quantanium will be there when you get back to the refinery. If you notice this happening, just ignore it and treat your mining run like any other. Refined quantanium still doesn't have a physical asset to display on cargo grids, so a full load of quantanium actually looks pretty empty. The inventory shows up on shopping terminals when you get to your destination, so just trust that it's there and that the game didn't just steal your precious cargo. There's also a really fun bug where simply exiting a ship will cause it to explode. This one seems to be tied to characters wearing a backpack, but there are probably a number of contributing factors. This one isn't specific to mining, but I'd be pretty upset if my mole full of quantanium exploded on the pad as I got back to the refinery. This issue council is currently under investigation with over 600 contributions, and unfortunately not much information on a reliable workaround. Like and subscribe now if you are enjoying this video, and leave a comment below if you notice other major issues that I didn't cover here. Now to the biggest issue you've probably seen or experienced in 317. There were major changes to scanning, and specifically the distances that signals resolve at. During 3.17 initial release, gemstone deposits are now able to appear at around 3,000 meters, which was a big boost for rock miners. You still need to get within 300 meters for them to resolve to individual signals and scan to determine which gemstone type they are, but they're much easier to locate as the detection range basically tripled. For ore deposits, however, the passive detection range was significantly reduced, meaning that they wouldn't resolve from a dispersed cloud to individual signals until you were within 1200 meters. CIG has already acknowledged this in the known issues and expect it to be fixed for 3.17.1, which should release ahead of an Invictus launch week. This was a problem because the easiest way to find Quantanium prior to 3.17 was to go to Lyria and do a high-speed flyover until your passive radar picked up a cluster of rocks, because, for some reason, any ore cluster on Lyria was guaranteed to be Quantanium. You can't do that easily if the signal clouds aren't resolving at a reasonable distance. The workaround here was to decrease your ping angle after you found a signal cloud, which would allow you to resolve individual signal diamonds at a maximum range of just over 12 kilometers. And credit to YouTuber Sniping Jet, who was kind enough to make a video explaining this change, which I've linked to below. The one downside of this method was that it did not work in the belt. In 3.17.1, they've addressed the passive detection range, although it still isn't quite as far as pre-317 figures. Lyria cluster hunting might still be the meta, but I found some additional fixes to detection ranges that could mean the return of belt mining in 317.1. Make sure to subscribe and enable notifications, as I'll be releasing that video soon. And here's a final recap of major issues by mining type. Hand mining remains unchanged, with the only major issue you'll face is that the gemstones won't stack in your inventory. Rock mining appears to be fixed, with gemstones no longer spawning in inaccessible locations, the collection bugs resolved, and detection ranges getting a major boost. Again, gemstones still aren't stacking, so plan on selling your loads more frequently we're spending a lot more time transferring. Prospector mining is going to be somewhat easier thanks to the HUD fixes, although we find ourselves having to discover the secret changes of scanning and surveying that don't seem to make it into the patch notes. And the mole took a fraction of a step back, with the mining UI shrinking in the laser turrets, which could make numbers slightly more difficult to read. And there you have it, most of the current issues affecting mining gameplay in Alpha 3.17. If you've got questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below and check the pinned comment on this video for any corrections or additional details. You can connect with me on Twitch, YouTube, 
Twitter, and Discord by following the links in the description. And last of all, like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, because Star Citizen is going to have bugs, but now you've got a can of bug spray.